Those who fight monsters must be careful, lest they become monsters themselves. Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out our channel once again. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, but really quickly, check down below. We've got the link to our Patreon page where we will have access to exclusive content and lots of goodies. Let's jump into the video. In this video, we'll be discussing the possibility of the protagonist Guts being the greatest villain in the world of Bazook. Now, this sounds very crazy and highly unlikely. But just hear us out. Guts has the making of an epic villain. In an article done by Antonio Del Drago, he talks about the five characteristics that makes an epic villain. And they are, they have to be powerful, intelligent, immoral, wounded, and determined. So the one that stands out most to me is wounded, because if you think about it, Guts is the character that I believe has overcome the most in the story of Berserk. I mean, think about his childhood, the abuse he had to endure, the rape, the rape of his woman, and the loss of his friends. I mean... More importantly, the loss of his hand and eye. Oh yeah. Now he's disabled too. <laughs> yeah, so all these things adds to his character becoming this damaged person. This person wanted revenge, and it's understandable why you have all this hate in his soul. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's damaged literally and figuratively. Something else that stands out for Guts is his power. He is quite powerful. When you compare Guts to the other humans in the world of Berserk, he is pretty darn strong. Yeah, he's probably the strongest human we've seen. He even stands his own in battles with apostles. Now that tells you something. He fought against... Zod, a legendary beast or demon practically. And Zod was impressed, do you remember? Yeah. He was pretty impressed. Guts is one of the smartest characters when it comes to fighting. Enabling himself and others to survive situations that would otherwise be deemed totally impossible. Guts can also be seen as being immoral because of some of his actions. So many things he does makes you question whether or not he's a good guy. And this in turn really... Okay, so let's talk specifics about some of the things that are questionable that he's done. Okay, so for example, like he pretty much threatened to kill the Count's daughter just to allow the Count, the Count to fight him, you know? He mm -hmm. is not opposed, you know, like threatening innocent people to get stuff done. And hell, he, he could probably leave people for dead too. I mean, considering what Gus has been through, it's kind of hard to remain untarnished by all of the hardship, the murdering. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's granted some of most of the people were, you know, are the apostles deserved. I mean, I, I could think about a hundred situations where he's done some questionable acts. Well, that's what would lead up to him being the greatest villain. And a lot of times people stumble upon that role and they're shaped by the trauma of their lives. I mean, so many of us can identify with people saying that, you know, bullies are people that have been hurt. Bullies are people that have problems in their home or whatever. It's kind of similar to Guts. He has a lot of pain and trauma in his life. Right. And that has contributed significantly to the person that he is. Right. And the last point that was mentioned in the article was being determined and we already know Guts is a very determined character and not to beat a dead horse you know he just doesn't give up he has a path in his mind and he's going to follow it to the end so why all of these characteristics why are all these things important to what we're trying to talk about here which is Guts being the major villain of Berserk well I feel and this is just my opinion that everything we're watching is we're watching Guts, this person who's gone through hell and back, this person who is supposed to be, you know, the semblance of humanity, the, the best of us and also the worst of us at times. He is falling down this dark path and everything leads to him losing his soul. 
Yeah, I mean, potentially. It depends on which line of the fence you're on. Uh, you might think that there is going to be a very positive outcome for gods. Or maybe it's going to be kind of so-so. You know, right. win some, you lose some. But I think that we can't say for certainty if Guts is going to be all, you know, completely no. bad. But he does have the trappings of a villain. Right. And, you know, it reminds me of this movie, Constantine, where at the end of the movie, you know, Constantine practically sacrificed himself to save someone else. And the devil was going to claim his soul because he tried to do suicide back in when he was still alive. But because God witnessed Constantine's good deed, he pretty much forgave him and was going to allow him to come to heaven. But the devil was like, oh, no, I'll give you a chance to mess up. So he saved Constantine and saved his life because he was dying from cancer. I know, it's a really long, convoluted story. But if you guys watch a movie, you know what I'm talking about. The whole point is, I feel like when we look at the story of Berserk, Guts is the only person who could fight against this destiny, which is Griffith and his darkness with the God Hand. And the Skull Knight is kind of like this entity that watches him. But, you know, he's not bad, but it's kind of like he's like an angel. He's kind of like... Listen, I I am... uh, the, the, The verdict is out on the Skull Knight. I am not buying SK's Oh. oh, I'm just a helpful friend. No, but hear me out, right? Okay, no, no, no. Let's go back to the Berserker armor. Okay, guys? Let's go back to the Berserker armor. Let's rewind. Why did the Skull Knight give the Berserker armor to Guts? Knowing the armor's potential. The armor has the potential to totally taint the soul but and it, physic- the, the being, the whole essence of the wearer. It's just like the Bible. If you think about it, like... God gave humans the ability to choose right God and wrong. Gus did not have free choice in that because if you remember when Gus got the Berserker armor, it was when he was wounded, he was fighting in a battle and the only way for him to live would have been to have had the armor. There was literally no he choice. He still had a choice. He could have chose to die there. And then who would fight for Casca? It, but that's the whole point. Are you willing to travel down the road to hell and forgo everything else? Are you willing? Uh, No, no, no. See, now, when you make a choice, right, there's a thing called informed consent. Informed consent means that you make a choice knowing all of the details. Guts did not make a choice knowing all of the details. It's different if you say, you know what? I know that dealing dope on the side of the street is going to land me in prison, but hey, I'm going to do it anyway. But hear me out. When Adam and Eve had the apple, let's, let's use simple Bible talk. Adam and Eve, God told them, hey, do not bite into this apple or you will die, right? He didn't say exactly why. Just That's them full not- disclosure. You're going to die, okay? <laughs> You're going to die. You're going to be dead, Adam and Eve. Now, God's had no clue beyond, hey, put this on. But it's, they did it's, not it's, die. It's, it's, put, they, they did die. They, didn't li- they did not have eternal life anymore. So now... Skull Knight is like, put this on, it's gonna keep you alive, but it's like, okay, there's a disclaimer, disclaimer. So, okay, you think Skull Knight is intentionally trying to build him into this? Yes. He is shaping him into a weapon. I believe I said this in another video. He is shaping him into the tool of the God Hand. Okay, but what I'm saying is, the choices that Guts is making (laughs) is shaping him into this entity. No. I think that Guts, and the, the, especially this call night, shady dude that he is, oh my God. is popping up at some very convenient times and saying, oh, Guts, look, oh, no. Oh, no, Slan is here. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah, but think about this, right? Guts knows the demons that are chasing him. Yeah. He has the demon dog who told him, in your time of peril, when you lost everything. I will manifest okay, so, myself. Okay, so here's the thing. Now, now Guts is far gone, right? He is totally far gone. And let's just add, if Guts had been given the, the, the Berserker armor and then the demon dog said, hey, if you put me on, you know what? I might just take you all over, dude. Then I would be like, the okay. The dog did that. The no. Dog, the dog the talked to him. At the beginning. Not at the beginning. Exactly. The, but the dog did warn him. He was like, in your darkest hour, but now, when you've lost everything, I will manifest myself and I will destroy okay. our enemies. So this is a foreshadowing of, this is a, like, what 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 I want to say? This is like, oh gosh, <laughs> it is a battle for Guts' soul. Guts 
is the only thing that stands between the God and complete control over the earth. Okay, so Guts might make a decision to bow out, you know, and to, but I doubt it, right? But the, the end result of him being in the Berserker armor and continuing to wear the armor, we don't know. Thankfully, he has Sherke. She has been able to keep it under control. Now, if Sherke were to level up her, you know, her artistry, quote unquote, then perhaps she would offer Guts some kind of insulation from the negative effects of wearing the armor. That might be the salvation, honestly. Or maybe his friends can bring him back, you know? But what if there's not to be a salvation? What if he is Ragnarok? What if he is the end? Like, true losing everything, because we have yet to see what happened with Casca. Yeah. True losing everything, he forgoes his soul and allows the demon dog full reign. What if it's Casca? <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys this is a long video but you know tell us what you think comment below is guts the true villain of berserk yeah is guts gonna be the harbinger of destruction in the world of berserk leave your comments down below guys don't forget you know we love hearing from you subscribe hit the like button on this video and patreon of course, sorry patreon <laughs> and of course don't forget to share over and out